Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven and Mal play Zelda Twilight Princess. Today Mal is in control. We have exited the Twilight Realm and we've come over here to Kakariko uh, Gorge because we are on a hunt today. Mal, what are we hunting for? We are hunting for heart pieces. We're hunting for heart pieces. When I echo what she says, it makes it sound like it's more important. But it is! Yay! Um, with only a few episodes of the LP left, uh, we're taking a short break from continuing on just for the fact that if I'm not mistaken, if we continue forward with it now, we can't turn back, right? Nope. So we're pretty stuck. So we have to get all of the heart pieces that we're going to get now, and we said at the beginning of the LP that we were going to collect all of them, and doggone it, we are! So that's the goal. <laughs> also, can't Mal, this, this place is awfully uh, reminiscent of an earlier cave that, you cave had to go that through? I had to go through. Is it the same thing? No, it's is different. Because it also had a heart piece at the end, but it it took like I remember it took like an entire episode to go through. But also I'm I'm not as good at Zelda as you are, and I'm also a bit of a pansy, so it probably didn't help. And those things are really Oh you there <laughs> this this joint is jumping, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> you it see, is what I, jumping. see what oh. I did there? You got a blue rupee now available at stevenshop.spreadshirt.com as a popular shirt. If you didn't know that, it really is a, it really is a shirt. We've sold uh, quite a bit of them. With packs upcoming, uh, packs coming up, maybe some of you will be wearing them when we when we get to packs. At which point, I will I will give you a hug. Oh, you guys. Although to be fair, I'll give you a hug anyway. If you want a hug, I I offer hugs. That's a big old oh, spider. Oh, there's a rat there. Okay, you gonna get that and go? Is that the thing? No. Oh. So this is this is pretty deep. It's a purple ruby. You got purple ruby. <laughs> You're gonna want stuff anyway, so. Money? Yeah. Oh yeah, we magic need money armor. because we're go yeah, the magic armor. Um gonna give you guys a quick rundown of what our plan is. We've got the rest of the LP planned on paper. Although to be fair, we've had the entire LP planned on paper. But now more than ever we're trying to look at uh, what we have left to do and trying to make sure we accomplish everything we need to do uh in the amount of time that we have left. So basically what's happening is that this episode we're gonna be getting some heart pieces. And uh, we're going to split that up, not only this episode, but next episode. We also have to play some mini games in order to expand our equipment, right? Yeah, and mini games for heart pieces. So there's going to be some mini games. Um, but after this and next episode, we should have... There we go. There we go, sweet. We should have every piece of heart. Hooray. That's the goal. And we need seven more. Yes. Seven more, and we've got them all. So we're trying to get all the heart pieces uh, between this episode and the next episode. And then, a drastic turn, I will be taking on the... Um, Cave of Ordeals. Cave of Ordeals. Hooray. <laughs> I bet you are so thrilled. Uh, that's a word for it. Um, immediately after I finish the Cave of Ordeals, which is probably going to be a very long episode, um, I don't believe we're going to split it up unless things are going terribly awry, uh, then Mao is going to immediately take on the Cave of Ordeals. And when you do that, it makes it harder, correct? Yes, more than we show up near the end. Okay, and Mao is the more experienced player, so we shot. We thought that she should be, uh, <sighs> she should be the one to do that. Now, um, that's actually going to throw our numbering off because right now is Mao's episode. Next episode is mine, and then next episode would be Mao's, but it will actually be my turn to do the Cave of Ordeal. So our numbering is going to get screwed up right here at the end. But you guys, you're cool with it. You, <laughs> we've done pretty well this entire time. You're about cool with it. You're cool with it. Everything's gonna be fine. Probably. Um, but once we finish the Cave of Ordeals for the second time, then we're done. Yes. Then we are going to the final boss hey. and uh, ending ending the game. Although it'll be over the course of uh, just a handful of, of episodes. Is everything dead? But um, but yeah, it's it's been a fun LP, and we're we're getting down to the wire. And uh, I've actually really really enjoyed it. It's it's been nice. It's been fun, and I've drawn a lot of. Uh, Comparisons to Ocarina of Time, but uh, I, I actually like it better. I really do. It's taken I can't see. taken a lot of the things that I liked about Ocarina of Time and uh, made them more enjoyable. Is there something you can't see because it's too dark? It is too dark. Oh. Because there's there's the one. There's. Do I need a claw shot to that? Maybe. See can if I you reach can. That? Maybe you can get on that thing and then you get claw shot down again. And you guys might be able to see this, I've mentioned it before, but in post I make things lighter. On RTV it's actually really dark. Why don't you give us just a second to see if we can find this. Oh look, this. here comes oh, Day. Oh, here comes Day. <laughs> I'm going to try claw shotting. Can I claw shot? No, I can't claw shot from here. Which is stupid because 
occasionally Link will like trip. He'll be like, oh god. And then when he does, you can you're holding on with like one hand and he still does it. Okay, we'll go on the other side now and you should be able to see what you're doing. Because it's day. Even though the viewers at home have probably been able to see what, what was happening already. Um there it is. There it is. Like a vent sticking out the side of the mountain. Like who put that there? <sighs> who on earth would do that? So now you just have to crawl to the other side and this is one of the heart pieces? This is a heart piece. And once we get uh, this one and one more, that is our 19th heart, which is exciting. You know, I've... Um, no, Link. I appreciate you in so many ways, Mel. Thank you. Uh, but I really appreciate the way that you've divided this up. This hasn't become... Like, I know we're getting the last bits of the heart pieces right now, but this isn't... I know that there are some people that do LPs where they do Zelda, uh, and it's just at the... There's a mad rush at the end, like several episodes <laughs> in a row where everyone's like, all right, now we got to go get all those heart pieces. And the way you've done it, you've kind of mingled them in as we've went. Well, and some of them we need certain items, too. So. I know. I'm just saying I really appreciate the way you did this because now it's not like <laughs> seven episodes of getting heart pieces. <laughs> like, we have a majority of them. You've just... You've created your guide in a very... In a way that Thank makes sense. Thank you. In a way that makes sense. I just wanted to say that. Mao's the one that uh, has created the guide that um, we've been working from. That we've been working from from a very from various sources. Various sources. Various sources online, and also her own knowledge in the player's guide. And uh, she's the one that typed it all up and put it together so we could follow it uh, in it a logical order. And yeah, in a logical order, this entire LP. The best so. I could. You've done well. You've Thank done well, you. and I'm I'm just I don't know. I'm impressed. This is really the first time that. You've, you've seen oh well you this is really the first time that you've almost down here? like headed up a LP I think yeah I, I believe so um, Mao really had to take the reins on this one and she's done really really well this entire time so I don't know just, oh it's at the top just, of the thing just saying you thank you've you done well it's funny because as I'm saying you've done well you're like oh, I don't know where I am I, it's right here I just should have went up instead of down the road for and this is yet another heart piece yeah so many freaking This one's a puzzle. Oh, good. Well, at least hey, you're doing it. Remember when we were in the ice temple? Um, Yeto and Yeto's house? Yeah. Yeah, this is like that. Did I pass it? What? No, I didn't. It's this way yet. Okay. <laughs> Haven't we been up here in these mountains before? Yeah, there was a bug right here. Oh, that's why we were up here. I was going to say, because we've been like right here before. Maybe I should kill them. I mean, probably. You have full power. You could have just used your swing, and it would have been a super swing. That's okay. I got uh, to do that. And you get to do this. I'm finding all the rubies today. Um, you know, it's actually interesting. I was watching the finishing move, and uh, there are so many people that have been begging us to do the finishing moves Where you on the boss. Where you swing your sword away and put it away. Yeah, like... We've done it. On the bosses, though? No, I don't think so. I don't think we've done it on the bosses. But you have to understand when you're when you're when you're playing Zelda, like you're swinging the the Wii remote frantically <laughs> in order to kill the stupid thing, trying to get in as many hits as you can. And that last hit is where it's like, oh, by the way, press A, and you're swinging the sword. Like that's why it's hard to do. Like you'd have to take your time. Remember and I, these? And I know that at least for when I'm playing it, like I'm just trying to get that that boss killed. Remember man. these? Yeah, I remembered how I like didn't do it, and that you're the one that had to do it, because I'm a freaking moron when it comes to this stuff, and I, I can't do it. You could probably just look at the stupid thing and you know what to do. Um, one of them is hard. Isn't, well, how many are left? I is mean, is that right? Yeah, that is right. Go for the. <laughs> There's gold. three puzzles. You see the three rooms? Oh my God! Three of these ice things? <laughs> yeah. You're freak. What really? All for one heart piece? Uh-huh. That's a little... Just, there's more heart pieces that are crazy like this. That's a little... Oh, I see what to do now. Yeah, uh-huh. Once you get I to a certain it. point, you're like, oh, yeah, I see now. Yeah, but that's me. That's not, <laughs> that's not you. Um, I, I'm always good at puzzles. <laughs> yeah, if, if anyone wants evidence of Mao's puzzle mastery, watch the Portal 2... Uh, single player to, to an extent, but watch see the Portal one? 2 co-op. This LP. One's, this one's great. The Portal fun. 2 co-op LP is insane because, like, the entire time, neither of us Link. have played it. It's completely blind, and there's times where, like, I'm trying to figure out what the balls we're even looking at, 
And Oops. Val's got the entire thing, like, solved by the time I'm like, okay, I think what we need to do is, like, move this ball through this door. And Mal's like, yeah, I'm already at the exit, so... <laughs> that's kind of the way it is. But Mal's good at puzzles. <laughs> but, uh, once we get to this one, we'll have 19 hearts. Yep. Which is cool. Uh, you know what? I don't think I've ever gotten all of the hearts in any Zelda game. Aren't you so excited now? Uh, I am excited. So, you know, just for the fact that I have never... I mean, I've never done this. It's never been something I've really attempted to do. I mean, I'm sure that I... There was half. Doesn't it open? Oh, it only opens the door halfway. I gotta get both switches. Oh, but they have to stay on it. Is that... Is that the thing? Yeah. Okay, so you just move it over there. That's not gonna work. I know what I'm doing, Steven. Okay, but I'm just saying that that's not... <laughs> That's not solved. It's not solved in one go. I gotta hit it again. I don't... I don't understand. Whee! This one I don't get. This one seems... I'm right there. I s yeah, but what I'm saying is I'm looking at it and I still don't get it. Now do you get it? This is the one that it sits on. Uh... No. I still don't... Oh, okay, yeah, okay, sorry. Sorry, I'm a little slow on this. Um, I get it now. There. I don't, I don't feel like I'm terrible at puzzles. Last I, I'm one. I'm pretty bad at puzzles. This one. I recall that there were some puzzles in um, Final Fantasy X, and I had a really hard time... I wouldn't know about that. Well, I, I believe that a lot of them were optional. I just remember being a kid and playing through that part and thinking, like, this is the hardest thing in my life, and I can never do it. And I don't even remember what they were, and I haven't played through Final Fantasy X in years. But I'm looking forward to doing it, just for the fact that um, Final Fantasy X is actually being re-released in HD. It's actually coming out with both uh, it and uh, X2, which I've never played. But so many of my friends were like, you know, don't play it because it's a girl game. <laughs> um, because it's just, it's just a bunch of, it's it's the the heroines of Final Fantasy X in a game, and I've never played it, you know, because, you know, so many people told me to avoid it, but it, I don't know, maybe it was actually good. And, you know, so many people hate on Final Fantasy X, but I think that's actually starting to stop. A lot of people have always cited the, the Titus laugh as, you know, oh, it's a terrible game because Titus laughs at one point, but they don't understand the context of it. Because if you look at it in context, it actually makes sense, because he's doing a joke laugh. I, I like know. how I slide on the ice. I really liked the game. I'm gonna make Mal play it sometime soon. So all of that effort... For this! ...in order to open a chest and get another piece of heart. We got five and a new heart container. How do you get out? Same way I came in. Oh, you just in. walk out? See, Skating. now now would, now would be a good time. Skating! <laughs> you having fun over there? I love how he moves on the ice. It's like... I mean, he he moves on ice how, like, a normal person would move on ice. The difference being that Link never trips. And a normal person, well, at least I, would be falling all over the place. Okay, so we had seven to get, and since then we've collected, what, three? Three. So how many are there left to get? Four? Can Steven do math? Hey, hey. Yes. Oops. That's yes, I, I want to warp there. That's how I came up with four. <laughs> I may not be able to do puzzles, Mallory. That's uh, your side of the family. Ah. Oh. But I can do math. You know, someone asked me a uh, question on Twitter, and uh, it was some it was something else, but it was essentially like talking about Mal having a kid, us having a kid. Hey, <laughs> Mal needs my help to have a kid. In case you didn't know. Um, you know what, let's just hold on until we get past this mailman part. Jog faster. Uh, Greetings, Mr. Link! I've come to deliver a letter! There's a letter for you, Link! Three letters in fact! Well, my business is concluded! Onward to mail! I think it would be great if the bridge, like, collapsed under him and killed him. No, because I do not like anymore. that character. Oh, wait. Okay, you, got, you gotta read the mail. If I was controlling mail. the game, I'd already have the mail out. I have to mail. read the mail. Dang it. Challenge for you from Perlo. Who? There's Perlo. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the star game that has swept Hyrule by storm is now available in Castletown. Even those of you who have beaten it once will find all new challenges and thrills. Come find us in the tent on the Eastgate Road. We'll be waiting. Hey, kid from Junior. Wow, kid, awesome. My son said that he wanted to write you a letter. He worked so hard on it. Goodness, yes. We thank you for all your help, both on land and in the sky. The brother, or the other Uka. <laughs> the brother. The brother Uka. <laughs> Uh, thank you as well. Come visit us any time. Doesn't Uka have a two A's on it? Or not? Yeah. I don't know. Shad. I'm going to uh, just imagine that that said Shaq and read this <laughs> as if it was written from Shaquille O'Neal. Dear Link, after we parted, I tried that word on all the statues I could find in Hyrule, but it was a disaster. How disappointing. But if I let something so small get to me, my dear father will scoff at me from beyond the mortal coil. I'm going back to the sanctuary in Kakariko Village to see if I can't find another lead. I certainly hope that if you find any more information, you will share it with me post haste. <laughs> the Kazam Wizard, Shaquille O'Neal. Huh, that's a really weird letter to get from Shaquille O'Neal. Alright, what was Heart I piece. talking about? Something about making babies? Oh, um, actually I don't remember what it was now. Someone was, had asked you a question on Twitter. Yeah, but I was getting to something else about it. Something about oh, I was going to say that I hope that our kid inherits inherits your puzzle, pu puzzle solving abilities. I <laughs> hope so too. I hope they don't get my side of the puzzle solving abilities. They'll be shoving the 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 square in the circle hole. Nah, I'm just kidding. I never did that as a kid. That's not that actually has nothing to do with like puzzle solving. That's more to do with like. Like a handicap of some sort, and I, I got all the st I got all the pegs in the right holes, I think. I don't know. I don't remember that long ago. Oh, I need. Oh wait, I have my boots. You're back in the. You're back in the volcano. Is there a reason you're putting on your boots? Like, I need my boots right now. This is weird, man. This is. Whee! Okay. That was that was neat. I know what I'm. I doing. thought you were killing yourself. It's like, good lord, the, hey woman, you. the woman's gone mad. Yeah, you show them, Mal. You show them. You're different from me, and we can't understand each other. They were coming after me. Look, it's coming right for us. <laughs> oh, you getting, you getting that bat. And into the next thing. Okay. You know for a fact <laughs> that Link would puke his brains <laughs> out after that. He spun around like 40 times. There's no way. Was I? Was there? Yeah, there. Let's go that way. Ah, you know the secrets. What's this way? This just takes you somewhere else. That's the heart piece. One of my, one of my, oh my gosh. one of my least favorite things about ooh, the da dong, da dong, dong, da dong. One of my least favorite things, uh, by far, about this game, playing with the Wii version, is that when you press the C button to look. You um you control w you're looking around with this the stick on your nunchuck, but also you control it by moving your Wii remote. Yeah. The problem with that is that if your Wii remote is off screen, like if your little fairy is like to the left, then whenever you hit C, your guy just starts looking to the left, like his head's stuck. Is there any enemies? No, I'm good. And the saddest thing is that I just realized this, like before this episode. <laughs> Like, I know it's taken forever for me to figure that out, but seriously, like, I kept wondering, I kept thinking, like, the control stick was stuck or something, but no, it's just that stupid fact. Hooray! Anyway, l the more you know. You got a new rupee! I think we've collected five different rupees this episode? Kill that thing. Don't worry. We can never be friends. He's dead. And now you get the heart piece! There we go. Now we need four more. And that's the end. And that will be the end. Bum ba da ba da. <laughs> Mama na ma na. Where does this put me out? Um, I don't know. Probably not at the same place. Actually, no. It probably does because whoa, where are you? There's the. See what I mean? See what I mean? She's yeah. looking down because of the thing. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. I hate that. That's not. That's not okay. I don't like that. Um. So we've collected four heart pieces in this episode. Uh, what else is there to do? There's a fifth one. Okay, let's get another heart piece in the last few minutes remaining. Even though <laughs> I think we have less than a minute. Shut up. We're going to extend your episode a bit and get a fifth piece. The next one's right here. I don't even have to warp for it. Oh, really? Okay, uh -huh. well then you... Oh, you can make that jump. I can. What? That one? Yeah. 
just sort of nervous. I need... I'm, I'm, not, I'm not nervous about that. Something. Okay. We have our pros and cons, Mal. We have things that make us strong and things that make us not so strong. Did you see me roll into that? That's one of your weaknesses. Uh, Mal has a strong sense of puzzle solving. I have a strong sense of jumping. Anyone who has watched numerous LPs will realize that Mal is terrible at jumping in video games. Her platforming abilities are atrocious. He is dead. He is so dead. Oh, he's running. Cut him up. Uh, anyone who's watched some of our Minecraft LPs will know that Mal's jumping sense is... Not very good. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Not so good. Oh, you know what? We were here before and you had yeah. tried to get something. I... Do you know where it is now? Yeah, I do. It's on the other side of the bridge. Oh my god, you have to walk that thing across the bridge? Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. Let him go! He actually does move a little faster when you roll. That that actually may confirm for sure that you actually go faster when you roll. Cause it it look I don't know, maybe it's just my mind wanting to believe that, but it seems like he's going a little faster. Let him go. It only takes his time though. And these guys are terrible shots. They couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. Oh you jerk. Shoot him! Shoot him! Climb up there and kill him. Oh. You're having some, some real issues Link. there. You what what is the Oh, I he can't shot climb. You. Why? Why can't you climb? I don't know. Just shoot him. That's how it happened to me. Okay. So show us where this crazy thing is. Over there. Okay. Ooh, careful. This looks like it could be danger. Also. I gotta jump. You're not gonna make that jump. I'm not. I don't think so. I'm the jump expert. <laughs> Consult with me. Just have it go a little further. Okay, now you're good. That should be fine. Uh, yeah, you can make that. There you go! Just talk to me. And refer to me <laughs> in the future as the Captain Wizorbo. That's my new name. Alright, Captain getting it legally, I'm getting it legally changed. This may come as a shock to the viewers. Um, does that change my name? Uh, no. Wizorbo, Captain Wizorbo is going to be my first name. Captain Wizorbo Andrew George. That's how I roll. Just just get the stupid RPs. <laughs> well, folks, people wanted to see that finishing move. There it is. There's the heart piece. Three more, and that's all that are left in the game. You can get these three. I'm gonna. That's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, like I said in in the beginning of this episode, it's gonna be a collect fest for uh, this episode and next episode. Then we go into the Cave of Ordeals. Will it be fun? I don't know. I've never been there. Man, those guys are really after you. I'll let Mal finish this up, but uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time for more Steven Mal play Zelda Twilight Princess. Um.